Oh, hey, welcome back. Last time, with this WWF Royal Rumble Tournament we'll play through, we did it with The Undertaker. Now, we're gonna be doing it with... 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 the bad guy, Razor Ramon. Gotta get that Razor Ramon theme in there, it's so good. Here we go. Uh, oh, there's a screech. Yeah, just a... Just a it is actually a really good theme song, it just doesn't fit well in the 16-bit era. Oh, I, wait, I just want to, I wonder if it gets to like the dun dun part, or does it just keep repeating the dun 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 Oh, it got it! Yeah! Oh my god. Ah, oh, Razor Ramon, here we go, baby. Sorry, I, I just... Wow, right off the bat, I guess, The Undertaker, huh? I've always loved Razor Ramon's theme song. I always thought it was, like, one of the best theme songs to a wrestler ever. It totally fit his character, and especially the way he would walk out with that little leather vest, and, uh... You know, he just oozed machismo, son. He was a bad guy, you know? He was doing promos of Scarface, and, you know, he was Carlito before he was, uh... Before Carlito was Carlito, you spit in the faces of people who don't want to be cool. You know, when the bad guy comes, that's right. I, I can't do it. Hey yo, you know, Chico and uh, oh, Taker's tired. Taker's tired. Look, he we just won the belt with Taker, and Taker's like, oh, man, I gotta defend it against this guy from Miami, Florida. The reason why I chose Razor Ramon now, even though I wanted to save him for like last. If you saw the struggle I had with Undertaker trying to get something like this off, it was a pain in the ass. That's why characters that have... Oh, you got to be kidding me, Taker. Stay down. Let's get another Razor's Edge, though, before we leave. I said another Razor's Edge before we leave. Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge. There we go. Actually, kind of looks pretty good in this game. Yeah! Razor Ramon! Gotta have the cool Superman little S hair string in the front there on the sprite. Yokozu we're gonna oh my god, we're gonna raise her we're gonna raise her edge, Yokozuna. It's gonna be the greatest damn thing ever. Here we go, this fat bastard is going up in the air. Just going up in the air, lift him like ten feet in the air, twenty feet in the air, and drop his ass. Come on as I punch your titty. Come on, Yoko. I totally forgot they had the red, white, and blue ropes way back when. I'm too used to, like, the same, like, single-colored ropes that they have. Do they have them all red, like, now? Is that, like, all red on Raw and then all blue on SmackDown? I think that's what it is, right? And then they change it up or it's all red. I, I don't know, but I, I miss the times like this, the red, white, and blue ropes and all that. I'm gonna suplex the fat man. Wow, okay, this, the fat man suplexed me, but I can suplex him too. Da da. And yes, you know what sucks about Razor Ramon? If you are too close to the ropes when you do the Razor's Edge, you will uh, hit the ropes and it will do no damage. So you gotta be careful. Gotta be careful when you're going for that Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge, come on. God damn it, Yokozuna, why do you grapple with me? I don't want to grapple with... Ah! Get out of my room! Fuck this draft. <laughs> I, uh... I just might have, uh... I can choke him out now! Yeah, dun, dun! Get him in the air! Let's go, ref. He didn't see anything. That's right. That's how you choke him out. Razor Ramon just razors edged a 500 pound man. Bret Hart. Let's go. Let's go. Bret the Hit Man Hart against the bad guy, Razor Ramon. When you mess with the bad guy? <laughs> That's a terrible Razor Ramon impression. You know what's funny too when I. 
you look back on that day, the new generation and all that, I know some people call it that. I think the generation before that, though, is like called, well, they say it's the Federation years, but we all know it's like a cartoon era. The gimmicks they had then, I mean, Doink the Clown, freaking Arachnaman, uh, who else, that damn guy from Pluto or whatever. Some weird, weird Papa Shango. I mean, yeah. Uh, Razor Ramon definitely sounds like a cartoon character's name. Like, a Saturday morning cartoon character. I would totally watch, you know? It's like, hey, I'm Scarface, but I'm actually Razor Ramon. A big guy named Diesel, just because he's big and he's Diesel. Isaac Yankum, DDS, as in yanking your teeth. DDS, dentist, whatever. Man. And then only some of them use like their real names. Bret Hart, Owen Hart. Stone Cold's name was the Ringmaster at one point, okay? Racist itch time. Okay, there was a guy named 123Kid who later turned into 6, who later turned into X-Pac, who would go on later to turn into 6-Pac, who would later to go on to turn into irrelevant and not worth anybody's time anymore because he got fat. Man, he really let himself go. Oh wait, no, he made that one tape with that uh, that lady from like, Japan or something, right? He had that one night in Japan or whatever. I'm kidding, I know it was China, okay? Okay, kids. I just gave you... <laughs> I just gave you what we all were f fapping to way back when. Before the internet was the internet. This is during the times in which... We had basically aids for our computers, things such as, oh my god, anybody? People have got to remember that. Morpheus, Bear Share, LimeWire, oh my goodness. And what all started it was Napster. And if you said you didn't have it, you are a goddamn liar. And you know it. Those files sharing freaking uh, things. God, the amount of time we all spent watching illegal downloads. Hey, at least I admit it. I did my time, okay? I did my time! Ow, what the hell, man? Wait, what am I saying? I, I just beat the piss out of Tatanka. Can I get him with another visit? Raise his edge before we go? Oh, no, no, no. That figures, you know. It's like, oh, he locked up with me, so uh, we gotta make sure he struggles. Double Razor's Edge. That's like the double edge of the Razor variety. I should talk more about random nonsense. Because, you know, it seems I win matches quicker like that. We're on round five. We still got a ways to go. We got seven rounds, including this one. Technically six, but seven altogether. Damn it, Luger! You narcissist bastard. Punching him right in the damn jaw. See, I love it. I, I'm able to knock his ass down. He can't knock me down, though. You know why? Because I'm, I'm the bad guy. Raza Ramon. Raza Ramon! This is where I start resorting to strikes as I get clotheslined. Damn it, Luger, why do you grapple with me and then we're in the grapple for like 90 minutes? I'm gonna go up! Elbow drop! Elbow drop! Stomp! 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 <laughs> Goodbye, Lex. Can't punch the ref. I sure as hell can run his ass over. Not going to, though. Because I need him for this. Damn it. Gotcha, Luger. Narcissist, whatever you want to be called, I don't care. Whatever it is, it rhymes with Toozer. And that, my friends, is what we call Loser. Now go join the Wolf Pack. I'll be the worst member of the Wolf Pack. God, you suck. <laughs> By the way, if uh, Lex Luger is actually watching this, please. Please do not come to my house, strangle me, or put me in the torture rack. This is all in entertainment, okay? 
All in good fun. You should be proud, Mr. Luger. Not only are you in the current wrestling games, but you were in the Super Nintendo games, too. Hell, you had a different name in this one. Not to mention, I can't even pronounce your name right anymore since Robot Chicken. Actually, no, I've been pronouncing it right. It's Lex Luthor I can't pronounce right. Because Lex Luger was the one that uh, blew up those kids. <laughs> uh, Robot Chicken. It's a good show. Let's go, Randy. Savage. Damn it, Savage. Stop it. Stop letting me kick your ass. <laughs> Did I mention I kind of love that animation? How they just splash, look up, and then roll off? I mean, look at this. Huh? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Can I get Randy with the razor's edge? Do you feel Randy? Randy? Got him! He has a little bit of... Nope. You can tell they have no health left when their feet don't move when you cover them. Mean Gene, you gotta get over here faster. Unless that somebody said that was Howard Finkel. Like, there's no way that's Howard Finkel. That's Mean Gene Okerlund. Get your wrestling people right. Granted, it makes sense because you know Howard Finkel was the ring announcer. But that's... That's Mean Gene. Totally Mean Gene Okerlund. Mean Gene Oakland wasn't in WWF at the time of this, or 1990-whatever. Screw you! It's Mean Gene. It's not the Fink. Maybe it is the Fink. But it looks like Mean Gene. I'm gonna keep saying it's Mean Gene, okay? I don't care. Crush. Crush. This. What should we do after this? We got Yoko, Brett, and Macho Man left. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. I kind of want to save Macho Man for last, though. Yeah, I'll probably do it like Yoko, Brett, Macho. Yoko. Yoko's kind of a tough one to get finishing move because yeah, they have to be in a certain spot for you to hit them with it. Same thing with Macho and I, I want to save Brett for last because even though I'm not the biggest Bret Hart fan ever. Did I say Yoko Brett Macho? I'm gonna actually- DAMN IT! Yoko Macho Brett. Get off of me man. I don't care if you're a former world champion in this game. You're useless. And you're done. You know what? Don't quote me. I, all I can say is I guarantee Yokozuna will be the next playthrough. I'm going to do a coin flip for Brett and uh, Macho Man. Maybe I'll do Macho Man last because, you know, he's... Yeah. And Bret Hart. No, I don't know. See, that, that's a tough one because Brett will be real easy. And Macho Man will kind of be easy. Hey, we're going in a ladder match here. Did you see that? Ladder match. It's not a ladder match. I'm sorry. It's not a ladder match at all. It's just a regular match. Oh my god, he's suplexed me. I can suplex him too. Why do I even freaking bother? Clothesline, son. That's what we call the Razor's line. Razor's edge line. Will you, st will you stop hitting me, please, you little bastard? Yeah. And one more! Alright, Shawn Michaels, we got the same sprite? No, we don't. I have that little S in my hair. You do not. You got lovely hair sprite, though, which might be the same hair sprite as me, from behind. Damn it, Shawn, will you stop hurting me? You are hurting me to no end. There we go, Shawn. Shawn Michaels. That's enough. That's enough, Shawn Michaels. Wow, okay. That's the way it's gonna be. By the way, ladder match, WrestleMania, what was it, 10? Great match. Good match. Then they do it again at like a SummerSlam or something. God damn it, Shawn! Let me hit you with the razor's edge! Oh no, you don't! 
And then they, they, he, he used the move in WCW, started calling it the Outsider's Edge. Is that wrong of me to like uh, Razor Ramon better than Scott Hall? Something about the character of Razor Ramon I like better than Scott Hall, even though it was, it was the same guy and it was kind of the same character. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe it's just because the name Razor Ramon sounds better than Scott Hall. It's like, oh, here comes Scott Hall. Lame. Here comes the bad guy, Razor Ramon. Yeah, this guy knows business. Let's go, perfect you and your one, your blue onesie. Come on, perfect. Come on, perfect. Oh, damn it. Stupid onesie. You know, people can hack this game. Change Mr. Perfect to Kurt Angle. You know? Just uh, take his hair off. You're good. You're pretty much golden, man. You just leave him with the same move set. You don't. You don't even have to give him a, another move set. You just can use the perfect plex. You know, kind of looks like the. Oh my goodness! Mr. Perfect's just whooping my ass. I can't get out of these damn grapples. He's a grappling master, just like how he is in WWE All Stars. Okay, perfect. That's enough. Okay. Thumb to the eye. Thumb to the eye. Just just keep breaking his eye. Breaking his eye. Choke his ass out. Get back in the ring. Get out of the ring. So I can choke your ass out. Doing some illegal moves, okay? Spamming the thumbs to the eye. And choke it. Choking him out. Choking him out. That's all I'm gonna do. Drop kick. So long, perfect. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, he was smart. He played it smart. Alright, perfect. You're about to feel... You're about to feel thy known wrath. Perfect. God damn it. I didn't even want to throw him out of the ring. Sorry for going quiet there. I'm just... Like I said, it, it's aggravating when you just want to do a finishing move to somebody with a character who has a grappling finishing move. It's annoying. Look at this. Uh, screw it! One. Just finish him off with a body slam. A little lackluster, but... God damn, I'm about to break the R button on my controller, son. You should probably put, like, a turbo option on it. Oh, we're at round 10. That's why. Okay. Next match is the last match, too. Let's go, DB. Ah, uh, see? Take that. Man. I might check out Rage in a Cage. I don't have a Sega Saturn, though, but I might check it out. Doesn't that have IRS? I think it has IRS. It has IRS, doesn't it? Yeah. And it has Crush in it, too, I believe. So we can have an awesome tag team match with uh, Crush and IRS. Oh, my God. There was a there was a person that went by Erwin uh, something Schwartz or something like that. And they just used his initials to be the IRS, man. Ugh. It was silly. Man, wrestling is silly. I love it, though, but it could get real silly. There was a guy dressed as a chicken. And the things that the things you see during the wow, okay, um, okay, DiBiase, you can stop whooping my ass now. Wow, this guy is just going for grapples, and he's good at it, man. Game with this, you know, huge spike in freaking difficulty. Wait, I can't get him on the racer's edge there. I'll hit the ropes. Won't do any damage. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Huh? Okay. Oh, come on, man. I just want to do the racer's edge. I just want to do it one more time. One more time. <laughs> one more. Time. Oh, God.
God, you know what? Screw it. You gotta resort to strikes because the computer's just like, no, I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm not gonna let you do the razor's edge. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, excuse me. Who's last? Ric Flair. Makes sense. Makes sense. You know, it was Ric Flair, former 16-time world champion. Isn't he, like, really, like, a former 24-time or something like world champion? I don't know. All I know is that when they talk about that accomplishment, it just makes me think he's a 16-time loser. <laughs> It's like uh, many, many, many other wrestlers who have that accomplishment. I'm a four-time world champion. You're a four-time loser. Hell, even one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Chris Jericho. He's like, I'm a nine-time intercontinental champion. You're a nine-time loser. <laughs> Fucking flirt. Flirt. That's enough. Stop it with the damn grapples. You and your genie cuffs. My genie cuffs are golden. If anything happens to you, or if anything happens to this essay, something's gonna happen to you. That's what uh, Razor Ramon would say when he gave his gold chain away. It was awesome. He'd throw his toothpick at you, man. He was the bad guy. Nobody messes with the bad guy. That's what he says in WWF, the arcade game. WrestleMania, the arcade game. Picks you up and slams you like a rug carpet and says nobody messes with the bad guy. <laughs> Damn it, Razor Ramon, will you just... Yes! I'm so happy I was able to connect that. If I will kick out, though. Get his health down. You want to punch me? There, he's done. New world champion. New world champion. I did it. I did it. Oh, man. Whew. Mean Gene, give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo. I don't think he's ever won... No, he's never won the world title. He's won the Intercontinental Championship a lot, but still. That's great. My name's Clinker Roth. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this WWF Royal Rumble playthrough. Stay tuned! Yokozuna is next!